How's everyone going? I'm here to explain my addition to an already used system, um, automatic sorting system. Obviously, this design has been used and been made. This isn't mine. This is Silent Whispers, whatever. Um, I have his link to his video down in the description below. So I couldn't really figure out how to explain this using slides with just words on them. So I've decided just to talk over, commentate this video just for this once. Hope you enjoy. So it isn't that hard. It's just one repeater, one switch into a hopper line. Um, the hopper line leads for, in this example, into um, a dispenser going into lava, just to quick disposal. You can have it into chests, you can have it into whatever you want, but I like lava because, I don't know, it gets rid of it pretty fast. So obviously you can see what it is, just a switch with repeaters going into the hopper, which usually locks it, but as soon as you flick the switch, it unlocks it, leading to that chest's content, going into the hopper line, into the lava. Um, if it gets too full, it'll back up all the chests and it'll ruin the sorting system. So that's where the flicking the switch comes in. There's all the uh, blue concrete. Um, see, that's the overflow part. It'll only do the bottom chest, so the rest of the chests are safe and everything else that goes through the sorting system will go into the bottom chest again. So it won't get rid of all of them. If you leave it on, you're safe. It won't. It won't kill your entire supply of everything. So say for example, you want each individual item to be sorted through. So I'm just putting, going ahead, putting a whole bunch of items in each chest, just to give you an example of how it'll do one specific item and it won't do all the chests. It won't activate any other hopper. It'll do those specific ones. So let's flick that one. See what comes through. Yep, those are coming through. Let's unselect it, do the next one. See, it's all working. There's a little bit of time bef between each one, but, you know, that's... What do you do? It's not the end of the world. So there's the slime balls, yep. No, slime blocks, actually. So let's do the next one. I think redstone is what I put in the next one. Um, yep, there we go. It's the next one. And so that is the worked example of my design. Welcome everyone to my survival world. This is my previous survival world. I haven't spent too much time lately in it, but I just thought this was a good example because I use it in, in this world below. So this is where the sorting system is. Say for example, I wanted all, uh, all these carrots going into the lava. I've, I've flicked the switch, see, they're going down. I'm going down slowly because the hopper rates, but as fast as you can get it. Um, the shooting out fast because I need to replace the clock that you put in there. Also, there's a clock, obviously, attached to the dispenser. But I'm going to get a faster clock because that's it's kind of annoying that rate. But pretty much, you turn it off and now the carrots aren't going in anymore. So that's my little addition to this really well-known sorting system. If you liked it, subscribe, leave a like. If you didn't, oh well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.